And now we're joined by guard Travis Bader. Travis, thank you for joining us on the program. No problem. Long tenure here. Um, could you just talk about, you know, we, we'll get this out of the way person, uh, you know, early on. You're, you're nearing a thousand points for your career. Um, it's not, you know, you, you're obviously going to score quite a bit more, but what does that mean to you doing that so quickly? You're about, you know, four points away, I think we came up with earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't even know that actually, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's definitely nice. Um, I'm focused right now on the team and, you know, Pittsburgh on Saturday, but um, it's definitely nice. It's unexpected. Something uh, when I came in here my first year as a, you know, uh, redshirt in my first year, it's, it's not something I really thought about coming in and getting a thousand points into my uh, third year of playing. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. It's unexpected, but as of right now, I'm just focused on Saturday. Other teams obviously have been reading the scouting report on you, guarding you a little tougher. What's that been like these first couple of games? Um, you know, I, I take it as a great, um, I, you know, a great compliment. Actually, um, teams are are really focused on not letting me get open and, and taking away those open shots. Like last year, they had to focus on you know keeping Reggie out of the paint, and my guy would sometimes get lost and and focus on Reggie a little bit more. But you know, this year they're really they're really trying to um, contain me from getting the ball and getting getting easy shots. And so, you know, for me as a shooter, I just have to work more on uh, you know finding ways to get open. Uh, maybe confusing my guy a little bit, maybe uh, lulling him to sleep, and then trying to come off the screen real hard, or you know, just trying to lose him, trying to trying to focus on how to get open really. But you know, if if my guy's clinging up, clinging to me in the corner and Duke's dribbling at me, no, you know, Duke's gonna get a layup. So teams are gonna have to try to figure out how to guard, uh, you know, me so tight. Try to guard Duke, try to guard Val. So it's gonna be difficult. How does the backcourt differ? You played with uh, Reggie the last couple of years, and now I've got Duke at the point guard position. How how is that different? Um, you know, we're just different in length. Um, I mean, we start, you know, 6'4 and taller, 6'5 and taller. And so, you know, we're, we just have a lot more length. Uh, Duke, uh, when he's guarding the point guard, he's, you know, he's, he can get more steals. He, he can get more tips and we can run out more. Um, you know, point guard ability, he's similar to Reggie. Uh, he can score uh, pretty much at will if he wants to. Um, he has great vision, um, you know. so. So it's it's really about length right now, and our athleticism is, is up there. You guys had a rough couple outings the last two games on the road. What do you see coming up for yourselves? You start with Pitt, and then you travel to Texas Southern, and then you got Michigan State. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was a learning experience. Uh, these these first two games, you know, we we had uh, two exhibition games against um, Albion and, and Davenport, and so or not Albion. Albion was a real game, but Davenport and uh, Defiance. Defiance. There it is. So we had, you know, we had a couple early games at home. We could keep going a little bit, and then we, you know, you go on the road and uh, you kind of get lost a little bit. Um, we got got away from some of the things we we're doing. Uh, that first game against Louisiana Lafayette, you know, our first half was okay, but then that second half we just defensively we weren't doing the right things, and so we went into Boise. Um, you know, it's, there's still things we can learn from. Uh, you know, it's real early. Things we need to pick up on defense, offense, but uh, our effort was definitely there at Boise, and that was good to see. Um, you know. Kept fighting back. We're down 16, 18 points. Brought it back into maybe six or whatever it was. So I mean, our effort yeah, was, was there. It sounded like it was going to be quite a comeback. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah, epic, was, one for the Oakland storybook. That's what we thought. So our effort was definitely there, and that's nice to see. And we came into practice today, you know, working on working on everything on defense that we need to we need to adjust and, and everything on offense and getting our plays right. And, you know, so we'll be ready for Saturday. Now this isn't your first rodeo. Like you said, you had that red shirt season, and you're a junior now. So you've been on these long trips before. Do, do you ever get homesick, and do you ever have to kind of counsel the younger players? Um, I mean, it is tough, you know, being being gone for so long. But for me, I'm I'm really used to it. Um, you know, I'm, I room with Drew. I've roomed with Drew for every single year ever since I've been here. Dorms, hotels, whatever it is. So you know, me and him are just we feel at home. We don't feel like we're really gone. We're just always goofing around with each other. But. You know, for the younger guys like Lloyd, this past trip, uh, you know, a couple of days in, you know, we kind of, kind of got him more involved and kind of, you know, messed around with him a little more just to make him feel, you know, more at ease, and not not so homesick, stuff like that. So, you know, for the younger guys, it definitely is something to you have to pick up and kind of learn. You're going to get, you know, a little sick of the bus rides, the plane rides, sitting in hotels, and the airport, the airports, airport wait. Yeah, probably. you're going you're to get sick of all that. But if you're if you're connecting as a team and you're really you know, uh, the chemistry is there, you're going to be all right. You guys play any games? Scrabble? <laughs> um, sometimes we actually bring, uh, you know, Xbox 360 or something on the road and, and we'll go to someone's room. Uh, last year we played Monopoly. Um, the whole
whole team was crammed inside uh, somebody's hotel room and we were playing Monopoly until, I don't know. Coaches like, too? Uh, there were no coaches, no. So no. we're talking 12, 13, 14, yeah. sweaty, smelly guys. Sweaty, smelly, smelly guys, sweaty, sweaty angry on. guys who all want to win for a couple hours. So, yeah, we did. Who's, who got to be the banker? Uh, I don't think it got to that point. I think there was uh, maybe a, a thrown board and some flying uh, flying money. So. Well, well, how long did that game last? Did it even start? Uh, there were multiple games, actually. There was, okay. uh, yeah, I remember their first game didn't last very long. I think somebody got angry and might have smacked the board, but, you know, we, we kept going. That, uh, back to that redshirt year you had in 2009-2010, Oakland plays Pitt in the NCAA tournament. Do you remember anything about Jamie Dixon's team that, you know, might help you? Uh, they're big, they're athletic, they're quick. Um, I remember uh, Coach Dixon, you know, he, he uh, you know, really, really gets on them in the games and, and makes sure they're, they're not letting up at any point. You know, he's, he stays on them. Uh, I just remember watching from the bench and just kind of watching him and seeing how he was, you know, communicating with his team and just thought, wow, you know, I want to, want to be out there kind of getting lazy. I'd get ripped into, but, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be one of those quick, athletic, big teams. Uh, but, you know, we're used to playing them. Uh, you know, we have an experienced, uh, we have an experienced group of guys right now. Um, you know, me, Drew, Cord, we've seen, we've seen all these bigger schools, these bigger teams. Um, Duke played in the Big East. He's been there, done that. So I'm going to be a very experienced group and, you know, it should be fun. I learned yesterday Coach Campy is actually part of the Open University Parking Committee. I don't know if you're aware of that. What is the Athlete's Guide to Parking? Athlete's Guide to Parking. Don't. Walk. Just walk everywhere? Just walk everywhere. It's so random. Like Coming up here, we, we have weights at 9 o'clock. One day you'll drive up here at 8.30, the parking lot will be empty. Like You, you can pick wherever you want to park. The next day you come, 8.30. It's everywhere is packed. You drive back to your apartment park, walk all the way back. Actually, you have to run so you're not late. But so yeah, just don't park, just walk. Great, great advice, sage advice from the veteran Travis Bader.